Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. Today I'm going to show you how to make a meatloaf in the microwave. I know, you thought I was going to say crock pot, huh? Um, you can make meatloaf in the crock pot, but today I'm going to show you how to make it in the, in the microwave. And, um, but I am using my crock pot today. Now I've talked about this before, but it's been quite a while. I'm gonna make my meat, my uh, mashed potatoes, cause you have to have mashed potatoes with your meatloaf, right? In my crock pot. And if you didn't get the directions on that, I have my little crock going and I've got about four small yellow potatoes in there. And you can use any kind of potatoes that you like. I have a little bit of broth in there or water will work as well and salt that's it just cook them until they're soft and then proceed as normal with mashed potatoes whatever you like in your mashed potatoes your milk your butter your um, salt and pepper whatever you like in your mashed potatoes um, so that's going and since i'm not in a rush for this i went ahead and did that um, but i wanted to show you this particular recipe because it is a fast recipe when you need to get something on the table quickly. So let us get started. Now the first, one of the first things you need is two tablespoons of minced or grated onion. Now I went ahead and put that in my little mini food chopper here and I mixed that up. But when I was getting the onion out, now truth and disclo disclosure, full disclosure here, I probably did a little bit more onion because I had a small chunk and I, I just wanted to use it up, right? And then when I was in there, I realized, gee, I've got a few mushrooms that are also going south. And I had a little piece of pepper. So I've, I've included all of that here and I'm just gonna add that um, all into my meatloaf. I am not gonna include in the recipe at the end of the video, the mushrooms and pepper, but I just wanna let you know that these are things that you can add. It's not going to um, change the recipe a whole lot in the sense, you know, that it's not going to work or something. And it's, this is a great way to use up some of those things, especially if they are starting to go, um, you know, just a little bit south, as, as I like to say. Um, and it brings a little bit more flavor to the party, right? So, in addition, I'm going to add one egg, and I'm going to add a third of a cup of either marinara or tomato sauce. If you have anything open in your fridge, by all means, use the tomato sauce, use the marinara sauce. I almost always have a jar of spaghetti sauce open in the refrigerator, it seems. So go ahead and use that. And then a third of a cup also of panko breadcrumbs. And again, if you don't have panko breadcrumbs, you can use regular breadcrumbs. You can um, chop up very fine uh, a, a piece of bread and use that as well. They would all work. The panko are really nice though. Um, especially, I like them especially for if I'm gonna bread something because they're, they're crispier. Now I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm just kind of eyeballing that and a little bit of pepper and I'm eyeballing that amount as well. And then I'm going to mix all, all of this up and I'm just gonna put gloves on just cause it's a little bit cleaner. And I'm also gonna pull my little, now this is a microwave safe glass baking dish. And I'm just gonna mix all of this up really well and then I'm gonna put it in the microwave safe bowl there, or baking dish rather. And you can see this is a very moist meatloaf. There isn't a whole lot of filler. There we go. And then, like I said, this is gonna go in here and you don't want to pack it down hard. You just want to be a little bit gentle with it. Like that. And then this is going to go in your microwave uncovered for about eight minutes. Now I say about eight minutes because different microwaves cook differently. Some are stronger than others. Um, 
so you know your microwave so you might want to try um, play with it a little bit so in the microwave for eight minutes and while that's cooking you want to turn your oven on to broil and get out a little bit of mozzarella cheese so it's been about eight minutes and my meatloaf is almost done so at this point i'm going to add about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese now if you like your meatloaf with the red sauce on top and i grew up with it that way absolutely um, with the ketchup on top you would want to put that on first and then your mozzarella cheese and you can also use tomato sauce you can use spaghetti sauce whatever you like if you like the red sauce so you want to put that on first then the mozzarella cheese um, I am doing it without tonight because we're having mashed potatoes and brown gravy with this so I've got my broiler on and this is going I'm going to pop this in the broiler for about three minutes until the cheese melts and starts to turn a little bubbly and brown. Now, I've warned you about this before, but I, it bears repeating. Never turn your back on the broiler because you can really overcook your food very, very quickly. All right, it's been just about three minutes, and here is our final meatloaf. So that wasn't too hard, and um, this is just ready to serve. Slice it up, it is ready to go. If you have leftovers, meatloaf sandwiches, everybody. Sometimes I think I make the meatloaf just for the sandwiches. So give this a try, guys. I know you've got this.